here's the overhead shot of the squeaky gate. I'm still going to use finger two on the C. And so my thumbs are going to have to hang down relaxedly below the piano keyboard. Um, but still, try to tilt your hand a little bit in the direction of the thumbs. If you tilt your hand toward the fifth finger, this merely emphasizes the fact that your fingers have different lengths. And if you tilt toward the thumb, it minimizes the fact, I hope I said maximizes before, minimizes the fact that your fingers are of different lengths and gives you a nice arch here to play the piano with. One, two, three, ready, go. My wrist is fairly relaxed and that on a long note I can start rolling up if I want to. I can do a relaxed arm drop and then release out of it. Repeated notes can be like that. It's easier to do it that way to start with. So you don't want to overdo the motions because that's just as tiring for your arm as underdoing them and being very tight. But this is not, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but not really too much. One, two, three, ready, go. That was not good sound. I'll try that again. One, two, three, ready, go. One, two, three, ready, go.